Okay, lesson nine is styling, and the first exercise is background colors. In this exercise, you'll use the style attribute to add a background color to every tag on the page. You'll be able to see how much space is taken up by each tag because the entire background for that tag will be colored. The given web page shows an announcement for the Loud and Louder Music Festival, and the background color for the body tag has been set to light blue for you. Our job is to use the style attribute to add add background colors to the H1, UL, OL, and H2 tags, and the colors that we're adding are listed here. Okay, so just a heads up, we are going to be doing the majority of our styling lessons in CSS. Generally, whenever you're styling, you're going to do so with CSS, but it's also possible to style with HTML. And in these exercises, you're going to, you're going to see how to do that. All right, specifically, we're going to style using the style attribute. Okay, so this in web design is called an inline style because it's literally in your HTML lines and you can put them into the tags just like you would any other attribute. Okay, so this first style attribute is turning the background color of the whole body to light blue. Okay, we're going to use that same exact formatting, but we're going to add colors to our background colors to different tags. So the first thing we want to do is change the background color of our H2 to chartreuse. So I'm going to find my first H1 tag. I'm sorry, did I say H2? I meant H1. Okay, so style and then background color. Don't forget that dash in between background and color. It will throw off the browser. Okay, we got to be really specific. Okay, so the color is chartreuse and if you don't know what this color is, you're about to know right now. Okay, style equals background color chartreuse. All right, so we run that. Um, we can see that the entire H1 tag gets filled in with this uh, color. It's like a lime green kind of thing. All right, so if that's our only H1 tag, then we're good to go. Okay, looks like that's the only one. Okay, um, another nice feature about that, which it, they did point out in the instructions, is that you get to see how much space the tag kind of takes up. Uh, H1 tag is a um, full length um, block level tag, so it takes up the width of the entire uh, web page. And we can see that because that entire uh, tag is, is now filled in. Okay, the H2 tag needs to have a background color, or sorry, the UL tag should have a background color of Sienna. So I'll find my UL tag. I will add in that background dash color, Sienna, and semicolon and then close it. All right, the semicolon is kind of like, uh, you can think of it as a period ending a sentence because um, we could add more uh, more properties and style them, but for now we're just doing background color. So we would separate that with a semicolon. You'll see that more specifically in CSS, but for now just think of the semicolon as a as a period ending, ending a sentence. Okay, so now the entire unordered list is Sienna. Okay, this is looking great so far. Um, we want to add this also to this unordered list down here. Okay, I'm not going to retype that all, but just quickly show you what it should look like. And Don't want to forget this quotation mark. Okay, so style equals background color. We should have run that and also see that the unordered list is Sienna. Okay, guys, so this looks great. Um, you're going to go ahead and finish this up by adding a background color of medium purple to your ordered lists and light yellow to your H2 tags. Any questions, leave them in a comment down below.